Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, where apparently we are getting in a fight with Elwyn! I think it is just kind of a battle between, like, the two of our monsties to kind of see who's the best, but I can't help but think that it's also by Elwyn trying to, like, maybe help us to stay in place. I think he's a little worried about us, and we're rushing and growing so fast, we might be leaving his side, and we literally just got here, so I can't help but feel like there's a bit of a bittersweet undertone to this. Hopefully we'll at least be able to survive like the battle, but let's go ahead and swap over into my bow. And if we're going to do this, let's at least do this right. Even if I do think that there is an assassin cat refereeing on the sides. Look, I may have born, like literally been born yesterday compared to Alwyn, but I am pretty suspicious about that cat who just happened to show up and now wants us to fight each other so that we will be able to go ahead and uh, like get weakened. I'm completely sus about that assassin. I think something bad's gonna happen. But all right, so usually, usually, let me think carefully about this. Shulk uses speed attacks, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to use some technical attacks to outwit him. All right. All right, poison coating. Did I get him? Oh, speed attack. Good job, good job, Seki. All right, we need to go ahead and we're... Okay, oh, Shulk is coming for me now. Okay, Shulk is going to do probably another speed attack, so... What? Life soot? That's not fair. All right, maybe I'll be able to go ahead and get my charge. Oh, and your opponent can use items just like you. Using items, giving monsty orders, switching monsties and weapons. There's all sorts of stuff you can try. Well, maybe I don't want to battle other, other riders. All right, I should go ahead and probably heal up Seki because I want to be able to survive this. All right, there you go, Seki. Oh, Seki can actually directly attack. Ah, oh, Alan's just using Shulk for this battle, but some riders will switch between different monsties too. What, like a freaking Pokemon battle? I didn't ask for this. All right, let's see. Shulk is coming at me again. We're going to be ready for it. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm not poison coating. Seki! No! All right. Curses. Okay, Seki's back up and no longer hurt, and we can actually use our ride on ability. Will that heal both of us or just Seki? Let's find out. All right, ride on level one. We're going to use our kinship skill. Fireball explosion. We'll go ahead and skip just so we can see what happens. You've come such a long way in such a short time. See, Alwyn seems really, like, bittersweet about all of this. Like, we are going to potentially defeat him. Oh no, they're going to use their attack. Okay, okay, we've got to be able to withstand this. They're going to use their special attack. Here it comes. I don't need Icicle Realm on me! This is a dramatic turn of events. Seki, hang in there! Never thought we'd be on the receiving end of this. But again, I kind of love the idea that it's because Alwyn is trying to slow us down. Ah! Come on, we can still turn things around. All right, I'm going to need to start getting a little bit faster at this, I think. Let's swap weapons. What's the strongest thing I've got? The Cataclysm Sword? Here we go. All right, and let's do some technical fighting. All right, that landed a critical blow. I've really got to protect Seki. <gasps> An air showdown! This is what it's all about, guys! Seki loves these air showdowns! Alright, alright, alright. Trying to do this with a broken controller every time! This is why we couldn't play Ancestors, because the left button is destroyed. Alright. Alright, good job, Seki. Okay, okay. Now we just really need to keep you alive. Thank goodness I have so many potions, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, not poison coating. Hang in there, Seki! Alright, peak drill. Okay, okay. Now let's go ahead. We're gonna need a little bit of life soot. Don't mind if I do. Uh oh. Alright, alright. They're going head to head. Seki! I really don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Oh, thank goodness the ride on actually gives us, like, kinship skill. Alright, let's try this. Fireball explosion. Ah! Oh, you may have the potential to even become as strong as red. We must be growing up so fast in Alwyn's eyes. Alright, Seki, we've just got to keep you alive. Why does he get two shots? Alright, alright, Seki's gonna go ahead and fight. We're just gonna have to hang in there. 
We're doing good, Seki. Oh, not a double attack. <gasps> not a double attack. Oh my gosh, if we had been poisoned, that would have been death and doom. Oh, fudge. And now they're coming from me? Are they both pointed at me? Oh no. Oh no. Are we going to be able to withstand this? Seki! Okay, we're like doing our best to try to survive this. All right, I'm almost out of potions. Come on, Seki. Come on, win, yes. Power clash. We're gonna have to fight off this assassin cat afterward too. All right, come on, come on. Okay, let's go ahead. Another life soot. I'm so glad we have lots of life soot on us. We may have been, no! <gasps> oh no, now they're both healed up. All right, right on. Come on, Zeki. All right, come on, come on. Oh, they're trying to use cold charge and cold blast. Come on. All right, and then let's go ahead and use a technical attack. We teamed up together. <gasps> we did it! I only meant for this being a training exercise, but I ended up giving it my all. Phew! We actually really had to work hard on that. Impressed? We're getting pretty strong, right? Navi, you really shouldn't have gotten us into that. We shouldn't have been fighting against each other in the first place. Look, I didn't even get any items out of that. I just want to pick that cat up by the back of his neck and give him a tiny little shake and be like, Navi, I'm going to throw mushrooms at you. Really? We don't need to be fighting each other. There's stuff to do. Where's that referee cat? You can now participate in multiplayer battles. They're a good way to gain experience. Access to these battles from the quest board and test your skills against riders from around the world. You can also join forces with a partner for pair battles. Victory lies in the strength of your bond. How about... I'm good. Whoa, sounds fun. You should check it out later. Oh, grab the egg! <gasps> yes! Gimme, 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 gimme! I'm so excited! And then let's get out of here, because I'm really worn out. Alright. Quite heavy. The eggs are gone. We've got it! We've got the Nightnar egg! Also, I'm a little concerned about that referee. I think that it was the assassin cat who showed up in order to go ahead and just kind of like spy on us or even keep us distracted so she could go and cause trouble back at the village. I'm pretty sus about that. All right, let's head back over to the village. Riding a wonderful catavan. Look, we've discovered like a whole bunch of places. I wonder like if filling out all of those spots just makes me think like, Almond's on to something, and we might be <gasps> leaving him soon. Oh, we really grown up in the villagers' eyes. I'll never forget what you've done. It was nothing. Oh, but I. Oh. <gasps> thank, thank you. Why are they so cute? Come on, Alwyn, don't be like that. I think he's allergic to felines. Like what? You're just embarrassed, aren't you? So to be a real gentleman like me at times like this, you've got to accept people's gratitude with good grace. Oh, the poor. What's the matter, Alan? It's nothing. I just. Yep, he's desperately allergic. Wow. That's adorable. Why is everybody teasing the poor man? Grandfather's asking for you. Let's go and speak with him. This way. Alright. Is it time? But really, if everybody's after this egg, it's probably best if I don't stay here for too long. If I do, I might bring trouble to the village. And it looks like they've just been a peaceful, tiny community together for so long. I don't want to bring trouble to them, guys. Ah, shoo! Looks like it looked like it finally stopped. So this is what you call an allergy, hmm? <gasps> so he always thought it was just a few sneezes. That's actually kind of hilarious. <gasps> my stone, bro! I can turn in my stones. I love this guy. I don't know why, but I am just so happy to be able to help out Stonebro. Let's go ahead. We're going to grab that and then basic kinship skills. 
We'll go ahead and grab that. Have you been building a strong kinship bond? Oh, it's Kanya! Giving us a skill with your monsters. Use a kinship skill 10 times and I'll give you something really nice. Yay, and that'll actually give us the mounting charms, which are very, very useful. And request for assistance in Alaka. Reports of a blue yawn uh, cuckoo causing grievances keep flooding in. Be a hunter or rider, we need anyone brave enough to help. All right, we'll definitely work on that. An obsidian flash. Oh, finding another one of the nar the night nars. The other day, I saw a dark, menacing shape darting around outside Ruto. It was a night nar. No mistaking that. Could you get rid of it? Think of the people of Ruto. You know what? The worried villager is an excellent scout, making sure everything's going to be okay. Also, tournament mode. <laughs> Fighting monsters in the field is one way to train, but it's good to see how you measure up against other riders too. You can access tournament mode from the quest board to fight other riders. It's a great way to train and improve your skills. Advance far enough and you can gain some rewards. Huh. Well, I think I'm pretty good. I really just want to wander the world and collect my little plants. And Brock the Smithy! So, friend, tell me, what can I do? <gasps> That's really cute armor, sort of, until I saw the midriff. Now I'm a little concerned. I have mixed feelings about that armor. However, I will think about it. I think it's at least better than the Durambaros armor. Um, I'll give it some thought. Like if I'm gonna end up in the water, that would probably be a really cool piece of armor to have. But look at the hidden edge. Ah, oh, not quite as cool I think as my Bomb Mafala, but I like it. So hidden edge. Then you also have hidden harmonic and hidden gun lance. So those are, uh, you know, a gun lance would actually be kind of cool to get because I would like to have uh, a bit of strength behind like the shooting ability and piercing ability, but I'm gonna give that a little bit more thought. I probably do need like more piercing tools, but I have a good, good bow at the moment. <gasps> also our monsties, you guys! Oh my gosh, let's hatch some of these eggs. Actually, we do have several rare eggs. Uh, let's go ahead, look at all these guys. Oh my gosh, some of them are super shiny. Let's hatch this newest one. Is this what I think it is? Did I get my very own little? <gasps> my very own little angry cat crow bird thing. Look at my little night nar. Oh, hi buddy. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with you. It's a normal type. Apparently it's gonna unlock more abilities as time goes on. Hmm, I'm not sure if those are all of the abilities that we like really want out of our Nightnar yet. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on it for now. And we will hatch some of the other eggs in a little bit. I wanna see what the elder wants from us. We've rescued the children. They're having so much fun. I saw her over by the Phalanx. Hey, I saw a Phalanx in Ruto clothes before, but something's weird about her outfit. All the Phalanx here in Ruto were purple, but she had on a yellow outfit. Oh, I saw her. Hey human, thanks for finding us and not everything. You're a lot stronger than I thought. Can we be friends now? You know, if you want. Okay, what? Where is that Phalanx who doesn't match all the other Phalanx? Oh, and I don't think I've talked to this guy just yet, catnip. Failvine. Let me Lin's ink help uh, Linda helping Pa. We've got all the good stuff. All right, we do have some bottle caps. I'm a little sus. Wait, what kind of weapons do you have? <gasps> Ooh, Venom Monster. Wow. <gasps> Look at this one. It looks so cool. Make a charm. Oh my gosh, can I like upgrade that somehow? <gasps> Look at the Sonic Glass. Oh, it looks so cool. There's Warhammer, Defender. Like, those are all nice, but I really, really love this. Oh my gosh. How much? 20? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna need to get more bottle caps because I'm in love with that thing. What kind of armor do you have? Ketcha armor. Hmm. It does look kind of cute. I already have the Osiris armor. And talismans? I think I'm good on talismans. What kind of items have you got? What? What is all this? Pitfall surprise, combo recipe for a pit, pitfall trap, outsmart fast prey. There's different braids? Can I look at them first? I want to be able to see like a really cute funky cuckoo. <gasps> a hairstyle magazine that features the funky cuckoo. Really? A Ruto scarf for Naviru so we could match. Oh, elemental attacks. Look at this, what the heck? There's gold chunks we could actually get to make a bunch of money. I didn't even think about that. And then a item to increase a flying wyvern monsties ability gene slot. Time to make your monsties even stronger. 
Oh, there's so many things we could do. Uh, sleep knife, trank trap, which would be pretty cool. Uh, learn how to make poison knives. Shocking surprise for a shock trap. That actually could be really neat too. I want to see the hair. I want to be able to like put my hair up. Funky cuckoo. Seki would be so happy. And then stable blueprints allows us to keep even more monsties. Well, we're going to need that at some point too. All right. I see how we're going to need to visit the Everden sooner than later. Where is that suspicious feline? I just want to scan the village really quickly for her. There's the gossiping women. Because she might have another bird I can yoink. Is she lurking over here? Yeah, all the felines have specific outfits. Is she somewhere over here? Busted! The cat's out of the bag. Everyone knows I was the one who scribbled the graffiti. If Zellard finds out about this, I'll have to kiss one of my nine, nine lives goodbye. Why won't it come off? What? I just wish this doodle would disappear already. Who's responsible? Who's the perpetrator? Oh, they're so cute. So apparently they're not the felines in question. And there's, I love how if you take care to kind of wander the village, you can find all sorts of little hidden dramas going down between everyone. Because that's how I figured out before the children disappeared that they were going to disappear. Because they were talking about going into the forest. Alright, where is she? I'm really suspicious, you guys. We have an imposter among us. <gasps> we have an imposter among us! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was one of my best puns in a long time. Hey, did you know when fighting a monster, you can target specific parts of its body, like its head or tail? If you do enough damage to the body part, you can break it, which may give you an edge in battle. Sometimes- oh, wow, he's really still talking to me, even though we're walking away. Sometimes the monster's defense will go down, or it'll drop an item. What happens depends on the monster and the part. That's kind of hilarious that he was like, no, no, stay here, I've got more to tell you. Alright, I'm looking for that suspicious feline. But I don't see her, friends. Which makes me very concerned. To the egg! Alright. I don't know. I'm really sus. Alright. Well. I think we've given the village a good patrol. Hopefully everything's okay. And next time we will go ahead and talk to the village elder. And see what they have to say about the beginnings of our little Rathalos egg shaking. Oh, I'm very excited about that. Hopefully it won't, you know, cause the end of time and ruin and all of the things that they're prophesizing. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and for helping me scan the village for that suspicious feline. I love all the little stories that I've been stumbling upon. Maybe that kid knows something. I really want to make sure that we are finding any of the troublemakers who might be lurking somewhere around here. Hmm, not that kid. But all right, yes, if you could, do please leave a like for this and all of our wonderful adventures. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.